This is a story about a great country, a country of wealth and prosperity. But they were also a member of a union of countries. But the people had a vote whether they should stay in this union or not. And the vote said... Well, at 20 minutes to five, we can now say the decision taken in 1975 by this country to join the common market has been reversed by this referendum. But above all, this will require strong, determined and committed leadership. I think the country requires fresh leadership to take it in this direction. And this event had such an impact on the world that uh, all the world's media started to use hashtag so long and thanks for all the fish exit. The country was now independent, but the current leader withdrew because he felt this was a wrong choice to go. But a new leader, he stood up and took charge of the country and made it great again, or so he promised. We need to build a wall, and it has to be built quickly. The greatest builder is me, and I would build the greatest wall you have ever seen. I don't think they like me very much. The country was in turmoil, everything collapsed, and it was almost in ruins. It was really in need of help. This is a crisis. Hello. As you can see, the city is in crisis, and it really needs help. It is desperately need, need for help. It needs your help. Yeah. So this once glorious state or country or city, whatever, uh, it was big and huge, but it fell into our economic fall and everything almost went in ruins. So it is up to you as the players to build up this once glorious place and make it great again. But if you exploit it too much, it will go really bad and it might go bankrupt and, and the game will just finish and all players might lose. So this is kind of a cooperative game where you want to build up the city as a fellowship, but you don't want the other players to win. So, how does this game actually work then? Keep in mind though that what you see here is not the final product. This is a prototype with uh, uh, just some random components mashed together to make it workable. Uh, but you can check out the Kickstarter already at uh, this address here. And you can see how the final components are going to look like. And it looks very nice. But this represents the game mechanics very well at least. In this game, you start at scratch. You have nothing except for these managers here. And these managers are like workers in a worker placement game. You place this out on certain spots, which are action spots. So afterwards, you will then gather them and gain the benefits of, of the place and pay whatever it costs. So one at a time, place out a worker during the turn order. And afterwards, we collect them all and we start producing stuff. So what you do, you want to have factories or production plants, uh, whatever, to make new stuff, make points, make money, make bread, make energy, and use those things to power other things, and then finally export them and sell them for points and money and make the city great again. So this game has a lot of things to think about, but it flows very well. At the start of each round, we draw an event. An event is depending on the current status of the city, the financial status. And you see here on the track, you have a green, yellow and red status. And this status is affected by you as players and your points. Because each round, there is a set of certain goal you need to achieve in points in order to uh, uphold the status of the city. And if you can't uphold the status, the uh, economic level will go down or be worse and you draw an event based on that. So you can see here on this card, uh, it represents each round very well. You can see which round you are in, which kind of cards we're going to use, and uh, how many points you need to reach, or the goal. Also, there are different cards depending on the number of players and the number of difficulty you want to use. You see here you have three players and medium difficulty. You can choose between easy, medium, and hard. So the game will take a lot of space on the table, and this table is not uh, very good for that. I can have three players here, maybe. And each player has a storage card, which has a certain amount of limit on how many resources you can have of certain types. But they also have all these factories, which require certain workers. And the factories are on big, huge cards, I love them. And uh, it clearly states what kind of worker you need, and what kind of resources you need to activate them, and what you get in return. So every card is very clear, it uh, is nice graphics and illustrates all the theme very well, and it really meshes together well. And if you look, these... Uh, uh, graphics actually go in together when you place it on top, like this event card here. It almost goes straight into the background of the of the board. 
and uh, everything here is nice and and tidy and you start with nothing and you build up and you gain workers and you start to do stuff and you just get this great engine going on and yeah the game really makes sense and it makes me feel in control and I really struggle with uh, the choices I'm going to make depending on what you're going to take and he's going to take and should I take this should I really sacrifice this and for that there's so many decisions in this game and everything just clicks anyway and I love this. As I said it's a simple worker placement game there's no revolutionizing thing about this so but what I like about this game is it flows very well. You place your workers out and you're slowly starting to build up your engine by gathering uh, factories and stuff to produce stuff. And you have to always have to watch out for what your opponents do and yeah, everything just feels right in this game. It's very easy to get into and it's the flow is just so nice how you build up your stuff and uh, try to puzzle your workers on the correct spaces and being the first player and stuff. So the game claims to be from one to five players, and yes, it actually works. Each round there is a goal you need to achieve, or you want to achieve. Uh, this goal represents the status of the city, the financial status of the city. So let's say the goal is 59, and the blue one here has three points more than 59, but white and green are below the goal. So you take the difference, so blue has three points over, that's three in plus, but white has three in negative, so we're back at zero. And then green has negative four points, so the sum is negative four, so the financial status of the city will go down four, like this. So this will represent the city, and if this ever goes below zero, the game is over. So in this way, it is a semi-cooperative game. You want to cooperate for the city to um, be alive and not game over, but if one player tries to just uh, plummet the score and make it the game over, you still can win. If you personally have achieved the goal at that point, you might win. There are many action spaces you can go to to get money or take a loan, get workers, uh, uh, just buy stuff expensively for cost of points, uh, convert your resources into energy and export things to the market after you have produced stuff. There, there's so many things in this game and but it just the theme feels right, it does. And you want to keep the seed alive and you want to get points and you want to beat the opponents, of course. But you, you can always be under the goal and still trying to sneak yourself up with this final boom of points because you have collected resources, you're just planning ahead. And at the end of the game, you get the goal and you check the scores and yeah, you might have won anyways, even though you are below the goal each round. Uh, but there are also cards you can play in this game. So uh, every second round, you gain a card. You can also gain cards other ways, but these cards will help you um, and maybe sabotage other players by making a strike or costing them money and you will get points by doing so. So these cards are very valuable, but they are user, you do we really want to use this one worker to, to get it. Also, the, t the turn order here never changes unless some player actively changes it by going to the action space. But this worker, as I said, do you really want to use them just to change the order? Yes. If you are many players, the turn order really matters. You will really feel a struggle when you're the last player and everything is taken before you. So yeah, you might want to go for first or second place. And everything just... Uh, this game, I really like it. I do. And I want to play again and again. I, it, the, the feeling of building something up like this from the beginning and puzzling out, I, I like how this game just fits, even though it's not the final components even. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the final production copy of this game. And uh, yeah, check it out at Kickstarter right now, and um, I really recommend this. It's uh, it's great. I, I do enjoy this. Okay, thanks for watching. And as always, please check out my Patreon account at uh, patreon.com slash Takras, where you can affect which game I'm going to review in the future. So if you have a game you want to see, check it out, and you can get a vote in there, and I will to see and check out the game. There are so many games out there and I really need your help to find out which ones I'm going to review. And um, yeah, thank you for my current supporters. I really appreciate it. And uh, please check out my web as well to see all my other reviews and the glossary as well. Okay, see ya.